Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Survive the Nights. For those of you joining me for the first time ever, my name is Sabouts and for those of you returning to my channel for another series, I'd like to welcome you back. Now, Survive the Nights is an early access survival game, uh, which I've been afforded the opportunity to check out. Um, and so far, I've played a little bit of it. It's interesting. I, it's definitely early access. A lot of features missing, but um, I figure... I've got it, so why not check it out and see what the game's all about? I know a lot of people were excited about it months ago. I don't know if people are still playing it or excited about it now. I didn't see anybody online when I logged on. I'm currently in a server, I'm pretty sure, by myself. But yeah, I happened to be walking around a bit, and I found this this bathroom. Uh, looks like you can get water out of these, but you would have to boil it, so I'm kind of just figuring all that out. Okay, so you could actually turn the bathroom into the, a base, maybe. Is there anything in this bathroom? Yeah, so essentially, Survive the Nights is early access zombie survival. And the whole point is to see how many nights you can survive, hence the name Survive the Nights. None of this uh, metal fire barrel... Uh, plastic drum, you can search it for water, so there could be water inside these plastic drums. Um, the game does give you an indicator if there's anything inside the drawers. Um, nothing inside these, let's see, hold it, you just search for a while, or no water found, okay. Dirty water taken, uh, no empty bottle in backpack, so what, I put dirty water in my water bottle dirty. Can I... I could drop it, but then, yes, that's what I was worried about. It drops the whole water bottle. What's this? Okay, you can log out. So is that it? I just lose my water bottle now? Uh, yeah, so the game is very early access. As you can see. Oh, you can search this? No. Let's me search this one, though. Nothing in it. So since we don't have any empty bottoms now, uh, bottles now, I can't take any more water. And I definitely wasn't going to drink that dirty water. Uh, the panel box and stuff in here because there is electricity in the game uh i did get a map so we can open that up and we see it doesn't tell us where we are i think you got to kind of figure it out future content so what's that mean you'll be able to leave the island at some point it's what it looks like from the harbor so where are we? Union PowerPoint. I, don't, I wouldn't say we're by there. We're definitely not in any towns. It's more of like a gas station or a convenience store in the middle of nowhere. No. We can figure it out later. Black Ridge Prison. Don't even know if you can get to there. Black Rock. All right, we'll head upstairs and see what we can find. Kind of hoping we'll find some food or water or something. Oh, there's four items in here. We've got a small LED flashlight. We've got the wind-up light, so I don't think we're worried about that. We'll take the spaghetti can. Uh, standard flyers, perfect for moving or applying nuts and bolts. Oh, pliers. I thought it said flyers. Description coming soon. So, R6804. I don't know what that is. I guess I'll take the players. My health is very low, by the way, because I ran into a zombie. Did me no good. What do we got here? Gauze wrap, okay. Oh, okay. There. Nothing in there. You can work these light switches, by the way. That's not how you do it, though. That's because there's a whole electricity system in the game, but I don't know if I'll make it that far. I'll probably die before I make it to 
doing anything with electricity. Uh, chocolate cereal, I'll take that. I could probably eat that. I keep trying to do tab as my inventory screen when that's not what that is. Chocolate cereal box. Uh, are we hungry, technically? Daily carries? Yeah, sure. Eat. Okay, out calories increased by 400. We got a weak energy bottle. Okay. A jerry can and a fan belt. It can the jerry can, it's got something in it already. Fuel. Okay, so I don't really need fuel. I was mainly hoping that it would have, honestly, water in it. Steel pot, this pot is dirty and should be cleaned before use. So you have to clean pots, okay? Twigs. Uh, probably can be used to make a fire in a wheat cereal box. I guess the microwave is coming soon. That's not a feature yet. <laughs> um, a kitchen knife. Yeah, I'll take a kitchen knife. Can I equip it? Use? Move, I don't know. This is my backpack. Find water, make fire, boil water, find food. This is probably the worst survival guide I've ever seen. Find water. Okay, fine. Make fire. How? I don't know. Boil water. How? I don't know. Find food. How? I don't know. Cook food. How? Okay, let's see. How to craft. Here we go. Add or remove items to the recipe by selecting add. And a minus next to their name in the right inventory page. Hint, tools don't have to be added to the recipe. They just need to be in your inventory. Hint, Use the search feature above to find a craftable and what ingredients it requires. So campfire requires, I believe rock, example, campfire, rocks and stuff. Can I just, okay, that opens up the internet. <laughs> Hello internet, okay, I uh, can't. Yeah, so you can just make stuff. How about a weapon? Okay, how about a bottle? Water bottle, strong energy, weak energy, water bottle, dirty, purification. So I don't know how to make a water bottle, so I lost that. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here, axe handle. So I mean, it looks like there's a, a lot of uh, stuff to make. Uh, a combat knife, uh, axe handle, hammer handle, hatchet handle, flake, combat knife, sharpening stone. Workbench, done required, item, sharpening stone, quantity one. Item combat knife. I've got a kitchen knife. Uh, if I go to, if I add the kitchen knife, can I do anything with it? Minus. I guess not. Uh, dirty pot. Okay. All right. I want to make a campfire. What do I need? Workbench, no tools are required. Tinder uh, and firewood. Well, I've got twigs. But I guess twigs aren't going to cut it. All right, well, so there's the crafting screen. Let me see what else I got. That was the, uh, the pull start. Okay. Well, here we go. Can I use this? A cast iron wood stove. E to open, hold E to light. Psh, firewood, coal, tinder. So I don't see why we can't use this. Um, I see that I can't use twigs in it. Yeah, I don't think I can use the kitchen knife for anything. Let me drink this energy drink. Do I get an empty bottle from it? Water bottle, empty, I do, thank God. So if we can get the fire going, we can 
boil some water. I'll have to clean the pot though, which means I would need, I think, bleach is said. Oh. Can I, okay, so how do I gather? Let's say I want to come out, right? And I want to gather some firewood or something. Do I just punch the tree? Use an axe or hatchet to cut down this tree. Well, what if I don't have an axe or hatchet? Can I, tree trunk, perfect. So I can search a tree trunk and get firewood. Well, that takes a lot of time. I now have two firewood. Okay, I guess I'll collect five. Now, where would I get tinder? Go around and poke and prod stuff and find out. Maybe from this smaller stick? Nope, partially used as firewood. What? That's a killer deal. Only 12... 99,999. That's like a garage door panel. In an area that doesn't have a garage door. I don't know how the heck that made it all the way here. Nothing here on these shelves. And I can't loot the cash register. And I already got a map. So I don't need another one. Still don't know where I am. Alright, I want to see if I can at least get this fire going. Because if I can, then this might be where I'm staying for the night. Yep. Perfect. Only last 10 minutes though. But we put some firewood in there. All right. I think, though, I think I'm going to take the firewood with me for now. Just in case, I'm going to go venture out while it's still daylight. You don't want to do much exploring at night. It's a very bad idea. It's how you die. So I'm going to go out during day and explore. If I, I take the firewood with me because there's a possibility if I find another house or something, I'll be staying the night there versus trying to stay here in this, I don't know, convenience store area. Let me see if I can just, using my surroundings, if I can find where I am on the map. Right there, right? Campsite, rent a cabin. Enjoy the picnic spots or take nature walks on the hiking trails. It's probably not it. Probably knowing my look, something like way here. Well, wherever it is, the road ends. So it could be this. The road comes up and ends. And then it's parking lot. That road comes up and ends. Mountains on both sides. Pretty sure this is where we are. If that's the case, we could head to Black Rock. Uh, which is probably our best bet. So let's go down this road. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where we are. Let's just say the all shit RV from Turfray, only 12 minutes. So it doesn't really say anything about where I am. It's just a, just a billboard for like a I don't know, RV sale. I don't know if the zombies are out during the day. I don't think so. I think during daytime, you got to worry about other players. And during nighttime, you got to worry about zombies. I will say, I very much dislike how long it takes to get around. As you can see, my player, yes, this is where I am, by the way, because you can see that road comes and just a sharp turn and back around. So it's a pretty good guess. 
Yep, that's totally where I am, though. So at least I pinned myself on the map. That couldn't have been any better. If I follow this straight down and I go left, I can make it to Black Rock. It's really the only place. Old Town's small. I think the biggest city is Union Point. That's I'm not going to make it to Union Point. So Black Rock is my only hope. Oh, I think it's already getting nighttime, though. Yeah, so the zombies aren't really... They're they're a threat, but not so much in a th in a way that. Oh, what was I saying first? Actually, it takes forever to get any place. First of all, second of all, the zombies are a threat, but they're not so much a threat in a way that you're like, oh my goodness, these zombies are, um, you know, they're just really threatening because they're extremely skilled or they swarm you or they're just they're kind of threatening in the way that Daisy zombies were threatening, where they'll. Just glitch through walls and kill you. Um, I mean, that's just been my experience so far. I'm just simply stating. So this is just more maps. Wow, it got dark pretty quick. I was expecting it to, I don't know, not get dark that fast, I guess. So the road dumps out into here. I got to go left on the road. Now, yeah, it's going to get dark, and I do apologize. Uh, maybe kind of hard to see for a little bit while I'm talking, but uh, yeah, the other thing I was talking about is I somewhat dislike the fact that like, okay, so right here I'm walking, right? If I hold shift, now I'm running. Am I moving? F oh, wow, it got bright. Am I moving faster? Sure, I'm I'm moving faster, but I'm not, I'm not moving that much faster. I will say that that's nice. It's a full moon, so it's a lot brighter. That's a pretty cool feature. The night before I rec started recording, I had lo loaded into the server at nighttime. It was actually very dark, but it wasn't a full moon. So with the full moon, that helps a lot. I don't know if I dare try to cut through the mountains. <gasps> oh God, that zombie. That must have been what started the horror music. Let's test the zombie AI and see if it's like, if we can lose them or if they'll just perpetually follow you forever until they catch you. I've played lots of games like that. It's probably one of the most annoying things when you can't break a, lo a zombie's line of sight and they just follow you forever. Ooh. Who wants to bet that we're gonna get like sucker punched here? Ooh, I might lose them through those if those bushes slow the zombies down just as much. Oh, I'm still being chased. Now it's like two of them. I think my stamina is going down. So this is why you don't leave. Your house at night time. Because you get... Oh, yeah. They're actually going to... Because I'm out of stamina, they're going to kill me, more than likely. Yep, you generally don't want to leave your house at night because you get killed by zombies that you can't break line of sight of. And they're very loud. <laughs> so we were killed. Um, all right. <laughs> Please remember this is just a stress test build. And kill on site prevention mechanics aren't implemented yet. Or kill on site? No, that's not what that is. Um, I'm not really sure what that meant. I was disconnected from the server. Okay, well, t I'll go ahead and uh, load into uh, another server since we are at the end of this episode anyways, and we'll give it a shot uh, and see if we can get to a town at least so we can kind of do a little bit of exploring, find a weapon or some other type of loot and see where that takes us. I want to thank you all for joining me. do hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>